As anyone knows, when they've gone into a store in Canada, so much of the stuff that we sell is made in China. If we have a problem with China, can we withstand that? David Mulroney was Canada's ambassador to China for years. He knows China, and I put the question to you. If, for instance, uh, we don't send a team to the Olympics, China wants to pay us back, can we withstand that smack? We can withstand it because uh, China likes us. It likes to make us think that they, they're doing us a favor by buying our products. China needs what Canada makes. We're seeing this play out with Australia already. China needs Australian coking coal. It needs Australian uh, uh, iron and steel uh, inputs. It can't live, survive without them. China is uh, uh, in need of resources. It's in need of agriculture. It's well, the, the Chinese government has a lot of mouths to feed every day and they have huge capacity for food. And Canada is a great food producer. Exactly, and the other thing that's happening, of course, in China is massive environmental degradation. Uh, soil is contaminated, uh, fresh water is contaminated, so they will increasingly need what countries like Canada and Australia produce, no matter what they say. What so they'll we do can... is they'll, they'll hurt us selectively. They'll pick right. one particular product. Canola has been picked uh, yeah. from time or to time. Pork. But if you look, if you hold your breath, you, you don't, don't get too uh, concerned, and look at the numbers at the end of the year, you'll find that the numbers haven't budged that much. China's made you think that they're uh, holding a gun to your head. Yeah, so we shouldn't be afraid, and yet sometimes our government acts as though it is afraid, so concerned about you know, giving some problem to Chinese government. We should, we should also think about trade diversification, so there's a lot more we could be doing in Asia. China's not the only destination, although it is the most important destination in Asia. And we do need to think about uh, strategic materials, what we've gone through in COVID on uh, PPE, yes. the, the protective devices, is, is indicative of that. We've got to think about key supply chains where we don't want to depend on China, but that, that's a strategic thing that we can deal with separately. So really what it boils down to, David, is that uh, if we ever have a problem with China, we may have one Christmas without Christmas lights <laughs> made in China. Exactly. <laughs> but it's, it's not rocket science. We can make them up. David thank Mulroney, thank you very, thank you. very much. Three minutes. So thank you for watching, and please make sure that you subscribe and tell your friends. We are going to have lots of fabulous shows coming up in the new year.